Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. Today we are going to learn about adaptive cards and how we can perform approval action using adaptive cards with Microsoft Teams and Power Automate. With Power Automate, you can use default approval action where an user can take action from the Outlook email or the Pro mobile app. In here, we are going to learn about how a user can take action from the Microsoft Teams itself. On the screen, as you can see, this is a screenshot of the message, the approval message, which a user will get on his teams and he can respond from there itself. So what is the adaptive card? It's a open card exchange format, uh, which will help developers to exchange the UI content in a common and consistent way. It's nothing but a JSON object which can be rendered on any host application and it will adopt the theme of the host application. You can use these adaptive cards to send a message to your Teams, Outlook, email, Cortana, any bot framework you can use across various uh, products. In Power Automate, we have these actions available wherein you can send a message to a user in Teams or the whole team. Uh, then user can respond from the teams itself with the comments or without comment depending on how you design the UI of that message. And Flow is also able to read the response of whatever you're getting from the team's chat. And on that basis, you can take further action. You can uh, complete your approval process in the Flow itself. So these are the two URLs, you can just go and check out the different samples and then there is designer, adaptive cards.io designer, wherein you can play with the UI, what are the controls available, how you can generate the UI. So this is the uh, sample site, wherein you have some samples available on the right side, you can see this is the sample and this is the adaptive card uh, JSON template which you can use to render this UI on the right side what you see and like this you can create the cards which you can show and hide also you can create a button to submit you can create buttons to take actions so there are a lot of controls available you can just go through it there are a lot of samples also available you can just go through it and figure out which one fits your requirement this is the designer adaptivecards.io slash designer where uh, you can see on the left side there are some containers, elements and input controls. These controls you can use, you can just drag drop. For example, you just want to use a text block. So you can just drag drop here. I'll just close it for now. You can set the properties to the controls. On the right side you can see there are some properties. You can set the font size, alignment, style. It's kind of building your own UI with the actions. And then the JSON will get generated automatically below as you drag drop. Or you can directly update the JSON in the editor, your card payload editor. You can update the JSON directly in here. And then you can just copy this JSON and use it in the Power Automate action. So we'll come to this uh, designer again to check out some of the controls which I have used to achieve the approval action. I have already created a flow. I'll just rerun the already uh, ran instance. It will just rerun the existing flow. This flow, what it does is it will, whenever the item get created or modified in the SharePoint list. It will generate the adaptive card message and it will send a message. You can see here, a card has been received on my Teams. So this is the card which I have received. What it says is it will, you can build this message uh, dynamically with all your content. And then there you can provide these buttons here. Uh, Let's go ahead and click on approve. So this is just a, a button cards where I have just created two buttons. 
there is no uh, comment option here i have created another adaptive card with the comment also wherein user can click on the button and the comment box will appear and once the response has been sent you will see that your response has been submitted successfully let's rerun the another instance of another flow where the adaptive card i have added buttons where a user can add the comment also the approval comments or reject comments so if i just show you how it looks is you can see when i click on approve you can see that comment box has opened here i'll just close this if you click on reject you can see this enter rejection comment on approve enter approval comment so if i just click on reject and i want to reject this and submit so your response has been submitted successfully we'll just go back to the flow and check so the flow has been ran successfully i'll just click on condition and you can see that it has been the condition uh, i was checking the response of this particular team chat and then i'm just sending a rejected email to the user now let's go ahead and edit this flow and check what is there inside so you can see this now this action i'll just show you add an action here post adaptive So you can see these actions under the Teams, Microsoft Teams, post adaptive card to Teams channel or Teams user, where with wait for a response. It's almost similar to the approval action. I'll just close this. So in this action, you need to provide the recipient, the user's email address to whom you want to send this message. Again, you can send this dynamically depending on your SharePoint list. Uh, record who is going to be, who is going to approve it and in the message body you need to copy the the adaptive card json which we have built with the designer you can copy that and put it he here and then you can use the dynamic content also you can see for example for this particular text block i have added some static text and then in front this is a dynamic uh, value from my SharePoint list item. Similarly, I have just generated all these controls, and then so you can see mostly the first five six controls are text block, and then below is the action items. Uh, this particular example is just buttons where user will click on the approve or reject button. So you can see the type of it is the type action dot submit. This is the title and this is the data which we are setting when user click on approve or reject. So once it is click on approve, I'm setting it to approve. Once it is clicked on reject it, I'm setting it to reject it. So this particular uh, information you can retrieve from the response. You can see this. This is how I am reading it. So as you can see here, uh, I'm reading the response using this particular expression, body and the name of your the action, and then data and then action taken. As you can see on top, this is the data and then action taken is the uh, particular property wherein we, we need to know whether it is approved or rejected. So that's how you can uh, read the response and then take the action accordingly, whatever has been done. Okay, and then uh, this is the update message. What you see here, your response has been submitted successfully that you can set dynamically. You can set to whatever you want. Uh, should the update card, yes, we want to update the card. So whenever user take action, we want to just uh, show it something like this. So this is the first example with the just approve and reject buttons. I'll just show you another example with a comment box also. This is another example of the adaptive card where uh, when user click on approve or reject button, 
we are showing another uh, text box to accept the comment and then the submit button so this we have achieved with the show card you can see here the type in the actions uh, we are using action dot show card this is the title to show and then inside we have another card so we are using card within card okay so you have a card you have a button on click of that button we are opening another card so it's kind of nesting of the cards and in that card we have just a text control here you can see input text these are the comments which we will get back we, using this id you can read the comments uh, and then the, there is just submit button so action dot submit this is the submit button where we are setting it to upload similarly for the reject we have another card with the rejected comments text and then the submit button so and here you can see that i'll just show you the way we are uh, reading that action taken similarly you can read the comments also whatever and you can also read who has uh, responded back what is his email address what is his display name when did he responded back you can get all the information from uh, this particular this particular action i have just copied the json from the flow uh, in this designer just to show you so if if i just go to preview mode and if you click on it you can see that this is opening another card inside with this text box and submit button if i click on reject you can see this is another card uh, and this is the dynamic data which which is we are using these expressions in the flow so i'll just show you here in this designer itself so as i told you before this we are using card within card uh, and there are some input controls which you can use text date time number choice set you can set the choices you can have actually a drop down in this your card which you can do this with, with the choice set uh, input then there are action sets media image rich text block and text block text block like this here if you just want to so a simple simple text you can use this text block there are some uh, layouts or containers you can say this is the default container with just one container we are using this one you can have a column set also with three columns here image set and fact set there are quite a few uh, options here you can preview it you can start new card you can preview your card with the host application for example if i just make it microsoft teams light theme or i want to just look at the, the outlook actionable message how does it look if i need to check it with the cortana how does it look so you can have a look at it uh, with the what framework what framework web chat so there are a few samples of the host applications uh, have been provided here you can just look into it so that's it in this video we have seen what is adaptive card how we can use it how we can generate it using these urls there are some samples available you can design your own card there are already some controls available and you can use power automate to send these adaptive cards across uh, any applications like teams outlook uh, cortana you can send it uh, any applications and you can read the response from the user I hope uh, this will help you guys. Thank you for watching.